followed by tier two of Mark Andrews and TJ Hawkinson. And Barry, I think this starts just how the quarterback starts. We know these are the top three guys, but how likely are you to actually take one of these top three tight ends when you factor in the kind of draft capital that it's costing right now? I actually, a decent amount, like again, so Andrews going in the fourth, Hawkinson going in the fifth. I like both those prices. I've been known to get Andrews in the third and Hawkinson in the fourth. I think both those guys have a huge year. Just again, it's such an advantage at the tight end position. These these three guys and then Darren Waller, who we're going to talk about a little bit. To me, I think if you don't, I, I've said this a lot. I want to be either one of the first guys in my league to get a tight end or one of the last. Like those are the four guys that I'm willing to spend an early draft pick on. And by early draft pick, I mean first five rounds. And otherwise, then I'm happy to wait. But I do think those four guys this year specifically will make a difference. Last year, uh, Hawkinson, when he went to Minnesota, right, he played nine full games of the Vikings, weeks nine through 17. He, were, he averaged over 14 fantasy points per game. He had 9.4 targets a game. Like, and now you've got Adam Thielen, who vacates over 100 targets. Now, obviously, they've got uh, Jordan Addison, mm -hmm. who I think is going to have a monster year. K.J. Osborne gets a bigger role. But I think there's a better-than-average chance that the second – leading target uh, getter on the Vikings is TJ Hawkinson, who over that second period from week nine on last year was the second best tight end in fantasy. So I'm a tight end three. Like he's, he's a physical beast. It's a quarterback that loves to throw to the tight end. It's an offense that loves to use the tight end as well. Yeah. I think Andrews and Hawkinson, uh, I have a lot of shares of them this year. Yep. I think that makes sense. Connor, how many years before Travis Kelsey is not the number one tight end drafted? It's just not the type of guy that you want to make that challenge it's to. Three right years now. away? Yeah. Like three it, years away? It feels That's that way. Even at what, 34 years old right now? 34 in a month or so. Yeah, 34 this season. Yeah. And the targets don't feel like they can only go up. Yeah, that it doesn't. Offense. That's the weird thing. And also, his, his genius is how he understands space. He doesn't need elite speed to be a no. dominant option. That's not how he wins. I think his only real parallel is like Antonio Gates. And Antonio Gates at 34 was still putting up a late fantasy season. Yeah, he does He's one of those guys. Too. Yeah, he's one of those guys that does because he is such a red zone threat, because he has such a connection with Mahomes, and because they're so creative in how they call plays in Kansas City. He's not somebody that needs a hundred percent snap share. Yeah. He doesn't need eighty, even seventy-five. Like if they decide to reduce his snaps, like when he's out there, it's they're not bringing him out there to block. Like yeah. he ain't going to be out there on any run plays. You know what I mean? Like if Travis Kelsey's out there, he's running a route, and more likely than not, he's getting the ball from Patrick Mahomes. So I, I think. Yeah, I mean, I think he's also, when you were going about space, I'm totally uh, with you. Where I thought you were going, though, is you watch Travis Kelsey. Like, he's not a guy that takes a lot of contact for a tight end. I mean, yeah. obviously, he gets hit and tackled. But, I mean, he's just, he's not a guy that, you know, we don't really ever see him get injured. He's not, a, it's hard to hit him square. Right. First off, he's a big guy. But he also, because of the way he moves his body and understands space, like, he's somebody that doesn't take nearly the punishment that maybe other tight ends do. And the last thing you'll say is, you know, we just saw the commercial there. Um, you know, Donna Kelsey, he comes from good stock, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah, he, he'll play as long as he wants, like a Tony Gonzalez. The Falcons didn't yeah. even want him to retire. They was like, please stay. He's like, nah, y'all ain't winning nothing. I'm out. That's going to be Travis Kelsey, except he has Patrick Mahomes, so it'll be harder to leave. So, to answer your question, Jay, infinity. Okay. Yeah, Lawrence, like how about this? Do you think when Travis Kelsey, the next time he sees Jimmy Garoppolo, he's going to be, what's up, Dad? Do you think he does that? Definitely not. No? no definitely not. Doing Interesting. It. We'll okay. put that one at zero. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Minus, yeah. Plus 10,000. Okay, because if he do, the questions uh, America uh, wants to know. Yeah. <laughs> what's that? Yeah. He if, might lean into that kind of stuff, though, Travis that's Kelsey. True. I like it. Their podcast, yeah, their his podcast. They're, they're, they, they do a great job with their podcast. Both guys are really fun. They're great. Yeah. They're great players. They're great personalities. And so it's it's been fun to see the Kelsey family shine. Lawrence, how about this? Kelsey, 100 more fantasy points than tight end two in 2022. But yeah. this year, Mark Andrews coming in as tight end two right. uh, for the summer and based on ADP and Barry's rankings. Todd Munkin's there. Lamar Jackson is paid, healthy, and happy. Yeah. How does Mark Andrews not overtake Kelsey? That's ridiculous. But close that insane gap. I actually think this will be the toughest year for him to do it because there's actual, you know, receivers. startable receivers yeah. there at Lamar Jackson's disposal. It's still, you know, Mark Andrews should go out there, get his 900 yards, his double-digit touchdowns, even lead the team in targets, which I still expect that to be the case as Lamar likes to work the middle of the field. Um, but – I don't know how he closes that gap because he's he doesn't have the same skill set that Travis Kelsey has. When when Mark Andrews becomes a a 35 year old tight end, it'll be interesting to see 
what his career is like because they're just two different types of players. So I don't know how he'll get closer when they've added more weapons uh, for the Baltimore Ravens. Good luck. Have He'll have a good season and will probably be the second tight end, but it'll probably be by another – 70 points or so so I don't know I think I think the gap is actually closer I I mean I think that I understand maybe he gets less volume because of all the weapons they have there in Baltimore but I think it's also probably more efficient and like now you can't focus on him and and so Uh this is somebody who last year was tied for the second most end zone targets among tight ends Um, he was uh, he was top uh, four in uh, red zone targets among tight ends as well almost a 30% target share. And so even if that comes down, like the fact is, is that when you get in close, you think about Zay Flowers, Bateman, OBJ, like Andrews is still going to be the preferred target when they get in close. Like, so maybe less receptions, but would project more touchdowns on what we think is going to be one of the highest scoring offenses in the NFL this year. I think we forget that two years ago, Mark Andrews was the number one tight end in football by a pretty decent margin over Travis Kelsey. And he was also 27 for one more week. Then he turns 28. So he does have a bit more youth on his side. Uh, And he, he was banged up last year. He just wasn't the same guy. So he, it is in the realms of possibility he could just be tight end one again. Hey, it's Matthew Berry from NBC Sports and Rotoworld.com. Just want to thank you so much for watching what you just watched, or at least being too lazy to click out of it after the you know autoplay just kept it going. So either way, thank you so much for just letting it scroll by your screen. And now I'd like to ask you respectfully, 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 okay, respectfully, please subscribe to the NFL on NBC YouTube channel for the latest NFL news, fantasy headlines from Roto World, and betting analysis from NBC Sports Edge.